Happy Sunday, Wolfpack. How are we doing? Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend and you are ready for another exciting week of workouts. We're going to continue to progress some of our strength and Oli stuff, and we are going to um, continue to keep adding Murph volume and working on a lot of the movements that we will see in Murph coming up in about four to five weeks, so we'll get you guys prepared for that. Um, Monday is going to be a little bit different kind of uh, mojo than we've done in the past few weeks. We've actually moved the snatches down to, down to Wednesday. That way we can get some deadlift and bench press work in so we can continue to work on that pressing strength for our push-ups. We got to do 200 in Murph, so two to three supersets. We did this superset last week with deadlifts and strict press, so now we'll just switch it up with bench press since we took a week off of bench. So six, six, five, five, four, four, uh, three, three is one set, so 18 total reps per set per movement. And we're gonna start with the bench, and we're gonna add a tempo on the bench. Um, so three seconds down, pause on the chest, and explode up. So we're gonna um, superset that with a deadlift, and uh, you're gonna match your load to last week because it was five, four, three, two, one. So we've added one additional set with six reps. Depending on how uh, heavy or light that felt last week, um, it felt good and the 54321 was challenging. I would definitely match the exact same weight as last week. Um, if it felt too easy or you felt like you could get more out of it if you had a little bit heavier weight on there, obviously when you get to the later rounds, the smaller numbers is not as hard, but if it was easy for the first couple last week, you probably want to add a few pounds just so we can get a little bit more heavy movement um, out of this deadlift. Um, for the, the bigger rep counts. So <clears throat> uh, it's a few extra reps. So even if we do match the same load, we're still gonna progress it either way. But you can challenge yourself a little bit more if it was easy. So two to three supersets of that. Um, if you're going to do the accessory work, you've got dumbbell death march. So this is basically just like your ostrich walk. We put one foot in front, and you're just gonna hinge over, you have two dumbbells. So we're just kind of like a loaded ostrich walk. So 10 steps there, so five on each. And then you're going to do a, a hack squat, which is up against the wall with a foam roller. It's a pretty cool little exercise. You can hold two dumbbells at your side if you'd like. You want to make it a little more challenging. Basically, the foam roller is against the, the wall. Your feet are a little bit in front of the wall. And then you just kind of descend down into a squat. And then you go back up. So you're just going to do as many of those. Choose like a moderate dumbbell weight. You probably want to do at least 10. Um, I'd still do a tempo on the way down. Pause in the bottom just like he's doing. And stand up. So that's a cool little... Uh, little squat um, accessory work and then uh, 10 dumbbell bench and then 10 dumbbell flies the so dumbbell flies where you're laying on the bench you go all the way out and then you squeeze them back in together some old school bodybuilding okay um, probably only gonna have time like normal for a and B or a and C so the uh, Metcon is gonna be every seven minutes for three sets and you kind of got two little sections in here that are three minutes long with a 30 second AMRAP. So you're gonna start 200 meter run, and then when you come back in, you're just gonna do as many push ups as you can until that clock hits three. You get a 30 second rest, and then you're gonna do the same thing 200 meter run, and then we're gonna AMRAP air squats until 6.30. You get 30 seconds of rest, because we're going every seventh minute. So there's a little bit of rest and transition. Got a hair in my mouth. A um, little bit of rest and transition in there, so you can work all the way up to that, um, the final time. <clears throat> write your reps down, walk your way to the door so we're not losing any time on the run um, and we can push it a little bit more since we have the little rest period but also that gives you that <clears throat> that, that uh, the time to work all the way to the end of the time cap. So ideally we're picking a run distance where this is a minute, maybe maybe a little bit over a minute and that gives us you know transition in you know uh, 90 seconds or so minimum um, on these reps here so we can get a whole lot of reps on the push-ups and a whole lot of reps on the, uh, the air squats okay other than that three sets your score is just going to be um total reps so just make sure the push-ups we're doing are quality as always don't sacrifice your form or your range of motion just to get more reps for a score it's doing nothing for you and and, and it's just an unfortunate thing to <clears throat> to lose the push-ups and and rather than just breaking and then repeating with good form um, just don't change your form and just keep it tight. You can use a band if you need to. Other than that, air squats, full range of motion, squat all the way down, stand all the way up. It's a pretty simple workout. Um, just get some work prep going. So you got questions, let me know. If not, have a great Monday. See you in class. See you in the gym. Later.